Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my previous video, I have already discussed in detail about the concepts of decision tree, right? One of the very powerful machine learning algorithm. We have seen how regression tree forms, how classification tree forms, what are the advantages and disadvantages of decision tree. And we have also seen the MATLAB implementation. And now in my this video, I am going to discuss one extremely powerful machine learning algorithm which is based on decision tree okay and that is called random forest from the name itself you can get an idea that what this actual algorithm does okay so what is the meaning of forest a place where many trees are there and random random means in forest like randomly trees grows here and there like that right this is the normal meaning now in terms of machine learning what is the forest forest means randomly trees are placed right so trees in machine learning means decision tree and random indicates that we are taking random sample of our data and we are training decision tree based on that data okay that is in simple words we can say that random forest is collection of many decision tree models okay every decision tree trained on random sample of data okay right so from this particular picture you can understand the whole story of random forest so this is my actual data set we take one random sample from this data we train one decision tree we take another sample okay from my actual data we train another decision tree like this we are training n decision tree okay then the output of the individual decision tree are combined in some intelligent way using statistics to conclude the final result. And what is that intelligent way? It is very simple. If we are using our random forest for regression problem, then whatever individual result we will be getting from different different decision tree, we will be taking average of all those. Okay regression problem and if that is classification problem that time we will be taking most frequently occurring level which we are getting as a result from individual tree that means for classification problem we will be considering mode of all the results of our decision tree right and this is what about random forest extremely powerful technique which is collection of this is different decision tree models each decision tree trained on random sample from taken from my actual data set okay this is one ensemble technique and the power of random forest will be more if individual tree are as different as possible okay because you might you, you can understand this situation that we are taking one random sample and we are creating one decision tree we are taking another random sample from my data set in that sample most of the data points are taken in my first uh, sample using which we have created decision tree one also okay that time what will happen as sample one and sample two are almost same so decision tree one and decision tree two will try to give almost same result that time there is no meaning or much significance of creating two different trees right so it is always suggested that individual trees should be as different as possible and for that eventually obviously sample data which we are picking from my data set should be as different as possible but we no need to think much about that algorithm the matlab inbuilt function the python inbuilt functions libraries packages will do that for us okay and one very interesting quote I can relate with this random forest algorithm and that is if everyone is thinking alike then somebody is not thinking okay I hope you can relate with random forest so random forest is made on decision tree decision tree is nothing but how human thinking right if this is satisfied if not then else then like that multiple if else multiple decision we are taking multiple thinking we are doing right now if we build only one decision tree on our population data set that thing what will happen only one conclusion we will be getting right and you know that overfitting problem appears and there are many several problems of decision tree now what we are doing we are sampling a random sample from my data and we are creating different different decision tree so in a room if many people are present you can consider this analogy like this that 
different peoples will be thinking differently because sample data are provided differently but previously in this is actually what was happening that we made only one tree based on our whole data set so everyone was thinking alike that means there is a probability somebody is not thinking and we want that everyone or at least somebody should think okay and get or extract the maximum amount of information or pattern from my data for prediction and that's what the random forest is doing very beautiful algorithm very powerful extremely powerful okay in my next upcoming video i'll be showing practical implementation on this thank you